hello what's up ali here again for another ps4 guide and today yeah we are going to show you how we can format and use extended hard drive for our ps4 on this video we are going to show you how we can format use install games as well as uh, address some uh, issues that you may encounter when using extended hard drive we will also answer some frequently asked questions regarding this matter so let us proceed with the video and start with uh, preparing our hard drive for this we can actually use any working hard drive but it is advisable for the hard drive to be in perfect condition if you want to check the hard drive we can use an application called the hard disk sentinel i will just leave a link on our description on where to download this application so just open the link and click on this part to download this application after downloading just install and run your application this is actually the hard drive that we are going to use on this video so it is highly advisable for your hard drive to be in 100 percent health you don't want to use a hard drive that even has the slightest issue you can use either a fat or a slim hard drive as long as you can put it in an enclosure and insert it on your ps4 but personally i have a better experiences with fat hard drive but it is more convenient to use a slim because it doesn't require any external power sources so once you are good here you can go ahead and insert your hard drive to any of the usb port of your ps4 by the way you don't need a jailbroken or an updated ps4 to do this any ps4 on any firmware can use an extended hard drive but for this video we are going to show you how we can install fpkgs and play them on our jailbroken ps4 back on the ps4 since we are doing this on a jailbroken ps4 let us go ahead and activate our jailbreak first Again, you don't need a jailbroken or an updated PS4 to use an extended hard drive. Any PS4 has this feature. And to format an extended hard drive, just go to the settings, then devices, USB storage devices, and your PS4 should detect any hard drive that is inserted in your PS4. You don't have to do anything on your hard drive, even if it's not yet formatted, your PS4 should detect that hard drive and be able to format it as its extended hard drive. But if you're getting an issues here, you may try different USB ports. But if your PS4 can't detect or access the hard drive, then you need to check the status of the hard drive. You may have some issues with the hard drive or the hard drive itself is defective. Now once you see your hard drive here, make sure that this is the correct hard drive. Just click on enter and format as an extended storage. Once you do this, your hard drive won't be detected on the PC. It will be formatted as an extended hard drive of your PS4. Meaning that you won't be able to use that hard drive aside from your PS4. But if you want to use that hard drive for other purposes like for movies or other media, I would strongly recommend to just use it as an external hard drive. But once you are set and satisfied, just go ahead and press yes and it will format your hard drive as its extended hard drive. And one more thing, we have received uh, some issues or questions. Why is it not showing the full capacity of the hard drive? That is because uh, the hard drive is also being used for the partition files. Like what we have here, it's only showing 918 gig. The rest of the storage or the rest of the size is for the partition files. Now, if you want to manage your extended hard drive or your storage, you can go to the storage. And here you can manage, move, delete, contents of your hard drives you can also press the option button to choose which one will be your default install location by default your application install location is in your extended storage meaning that if you install any games or anything in your ps4 it will be directly installed 
in your extended hard drive. Now to install games in your extended storage, all you have to do is just make sure that the application install location is within your extended storage and yes, install your games like usual. One thing here that you need to consider is if you are installing games in your extended hard drive that is already installed in your PS4, you will be asked to choose which one will you keep. For now, let us just go ahead and install all. After the installation, you can find and manage your game in the storage. If you want to move games from your system storage to your extended hard drive, just go to your system storage, highlight the game that you want to transfer or move, and press option. You have the options here to delete or move your games from different storage. Let us go ahead and move this to our extended storage. While transferring, it is highly advisable to never interrupt the PS4, otherwise it will surely corrupt the file. And also another thing that you have to consider when using extended hard drive, it is also advisable to safely remove your hard drive after using your PS4. To do that, you can simply press and hold the PS button. On the sound and devices, choose stop using extended storage because there is always a chance to corrupt your extended hard drive if ever you disconnect it improperly. Now if you want to use your extended hard drive on a different PS4, you can just simply plug your extended hard drive and the game will automatically load on that PS4. But then again, you will have to reactivate your jailbreak first. So if ever you are wondering if ever you can load your jailbroken games to a updated PS4, yes, definitely you can load them, but you can only use them if ever you can reactivate the jailbreak or at least run the gold hen. Same goes with the PSN account. If ever you are using an extended hard drive loaded with the PSN games, you can only use the games if you can activate the PSN account that was used to purchase those games. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions, concerns, or issues within the process, you can just simply leave them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.